I'm Little Froggy and this is and My Froggy Stuff Mashup. This week we put together our favorite slime videos. From a waterfall to a slime shop, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. It's time to use our leftover cardboard. So we are going to use the scraps to build a waterfall. Using scraps of cardboard, tissue paper, paint, artificial plants, and glue. I start by finding a large piece of leftover cardboard. This is a partially cut trifold that I have, and I am going to use it as the base of my scene. So I cut it in half, take one of the pieces, and cut the sides to make them jagged. And I did this to the sides and top and left the bottom straight. Glue it onto the other piece of cardboard, cut more cardboard, layer and glue them onto the base. And I like to do a lot of my cutting before I glue it into place so I can plan the layout. My waterfall is going to come down here. So I made a large textured wall on one side and a smaller one on the other. The water will flow into a small pool that I surrounded with small pieces of cut cardboard. Then I added more cardboard for a rocky terrain. And for the top, I'm going to attach a longer piece of cardboard where I stacked layers of cardboard on the sides and I glue it on top. Now I'm ready to add the tissue paper. First I brush on a layer of school glue. Tear pieces of tissue paper. Place it over the glue while it's still wet. Brush over it using the paper to fill in the gaps. Continue. to cover it with the tissue paper and glue. And I just wanna make sure that all of the little nooks and crannies are covered so that it looks like rock when it's all done. And the tissue paper gives us a lot of good wrinkles. We want a lot of texture here so that it looks natural. Using small pieces of tissue paper really does help to get around all of the cuts in the cardboard while keeping a lot of the layers. And I like to move around the project. After spending a little time on one area, I'll move to another so that layer has time to dry and I don't end up removing the tissue paper that I just added. After it has been completely covered, allow it to dry. To make slime, I am using a plastic bowl, clear glue, a plastic cup, borax, water, and a spoon. In a plastic cup, I combine one cup of water and one tablespoon of borax. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with chemicals. Stir until the borax has been dissolved. In a bowl, pour in the glue, add a fourth of a teaspoon of the borax mixture and gently stir. I add another fourth of a teaspoon and continue to stir and it is starting to thicken. It's still pretty liquidy, so I'm going to add another fourth of a teaspoon of borax. So this makes three fourths of a teaspoon. Continue to stir, and we're not there yet. I add another fourth of a teaspoon, so now we are at one full teaspoon. Stir. This looks very good. It's really slimy and you might want to stop here if you want your slime to be pretty fluid. However, for what I'm using it for, I need it to be just a little bit thicker. So I'm adding an eighth of a teaspoon to the mixture, making a total of one and an eighth teaspoons. Stir. I'm adding another eighth so I think that one and a fourth teaspoon is perfect. Nope, we still need a little more. This is another fourth teaspoon, making it one and a half teaspoons now. So I think when it starts to stick to itself and comes easily off the bowl, I think that's when we're good. Then begin kneading it. 
pretty sticky so I added another fourth of a teaspoon bringing us to a grand total of one and three fourths teaspoons now uh, that amount will change depending on how much glue you add and how much glue you're able to get out of the bottle but that's just my general measurement because I plan on making a whole lot more it has a nice stretch it can hold its shape well, for a little while anyway, and it's still a little tacky, but not too much. So I store it in a Ziploc bag and repeat to make more. After making all of our slime, we just let it sit and it's supposed to turn more clear. Now that the paper mache is dry, it's time to paint. Using acrylic paint, I begin to paint right over the paper mache rocks. And I already know that this is going to take more than one coat, so I'm starting with a light brown. Then I add different shades of brown, brushing darker colors into the corners, then working to blend them so they look like stone. And the area for the water, I paint that a little darker. I want it to appear like the stones have a richer color because they are wet. Now let's add a little shine. Using a clear drying varnish, brush a generous coat over the area and allow it to dry. To bring out more texture in the rocks, I dry brush using different shades of brown. To dry brush, I add a little paint to my brush and then I swirl it around on my paint palette to remove most of it. When the brush is almost dry, I brush over the rocks and the paint collects on the texture and it just helps to highlight all of the detail. As I'm looking at my waterfall, I notice that the varnish bled through to some of the tissue paper underneath and it's made it a little more red than I like. So I paint over it with brown. Then for the shine, I am going to use our favorite gloss Mod Podge. Apply a generous coat and allow it to dry. a dark brown paint, paint veins or cracks in the rocks. I paint one going that way and then maybe it kind of branches off over here. I go back with a lighter brown and add a little highlight and a tiny touch of black for a little depth. And this just adds more texture to look like there are cracks in the rocks. We are still waiting for all of the glue to dry. It is dry enough to touch, it just hasn't all gone clear yet. However, the basic structure for our waterfall is now complete. And with this playset, we could pretend that our dolls are on another planet. Live long and prosper. Mermaids hanging out at the moon pool or a cave full of secrets but we're going to make it a slime waterfall. And I want to add some plants. However, I don't want the slime to get on the plants. So I am going to cut and glue them to the sides. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we still have all of this space in the center for our slime. And we use the Mod Podge for a plastic coating to protect the cardboard. And after a small test run, I decided to go over the water areas with a clear nail polish. After a while, the Mod Podge became a little tacky, so I'm hoping that the nail polish will create a strong enamel. And now it's time to add the slime. Our slime has been sitting for a little less than a day, and that's not enough time for it to go completely clear. However, if you look at a real waterfall, often the water appears to be white. 
because it's flowing and it has a lot of bubbles. So we are going to go ahead and add our slime. I start by filling the pool with a layer of slime and the nail polish has created a barrier between the slime and the cardboard. Squishy. Above the pool, we created a top ledge which is about two and a half inches wide. I take a large amount of slime, place it on the top ledge, allowing some of it to hang over. As it flows down, I can see all of the little clumps in my slime, so I probably need to do a little bit more kneading. But it is still a lot of fun to just watch. So we can set the dolls up like they're having a picnic by the waterfall and then just watch the water. Or, you know, slime. And when playtime is over, I make sure to store the slime in an airtight container. I could probably sit here for a very long time just watching this. It is so interesting to watch. Then to restart the waterfall, you just have to gather up the slime again and put more back at the top. And watch it flow all over again.
Happy crafting! a look at our slime collection which I am sure is a little odd looking yeah they're not the most beautiful slime colors and that's because we use them in our doll slime kitchen what do you think the hats too much should I lose the hat yeah let's lose the hat we use our slime to look like doll food mainly a lot of drinks what we do is make clear slime by mixing clear school glue and activator. We are using a borax and water solution, adding a little at a time and stirring until it begins to stick to itself and not the sides. Then knead it. Then we divide it over the storage container and add food coloring or paint to make different things. This is our yellow slime. In our slime kitchen, it is really good for eggs and for butter. Here is some clear slime that goes perfect with our eggs. So we take a bowl. Oops, this one is kind of dirty. You just wipe it out right quick. Sorry, I forgot to wash the dishes. Okay, I just didn't wash the dishes. So we like to take a bowl, add a little clear slime, make a little ball out of the yellow, place it in the bowl, and it looks like we just cracked an egg into the bowl. Oh no, someone missed the bowl. Now we have egg all over the counter. <laughs> See, this can be a lot of fun in the doll slime kitchen. Clear slime is also great for a glass of water. Clear slime is also great for a glass of water. Add some plastic vase filler for ice. And if you let it sit for a little while, it will get completely clear and look great. We made a light brown slime. It's a pretty golden brown. And it makes a great cup of chamomile tea. On a hot day, we add a little vase filler ice for a refreshing glass of iced tea. Make it yellow and we have lemonade. This is so much fun because you can see all of the details. We made the iced tea a lot darker. It's like a really rich dark brown color for a cup of coffee. And since this is slime, we can easily remove it from the cup so we can fill it with something different. Mmm, milk. Oh man, but now I need cookies. To make the milk, we added a tiny drop of white paint. Then we added some beads for a bowl of cereal. Yeah, 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 but what about my cookies? In a bowl, we add clear slime and yellow for two eggs. Add a little vanilla extract, which is our coffee. Add a cup of flour which is actually cornstarch, then stir. This is starting to get messy, but it is a lot of fun. Look, it looks kind of like dough or batter. I may need to add a little milk. Adding the milk, stir until completely mixed. Put it on the counter, knead the dough, Get a baking pan, divide the dough into small pieces, roll it into a ball. I use fine glitter to add a little sugar on top. Gently press down onto the cookies to flatten them and to push the sugar into the dough. Place them into the oven. Allow them to bake, quote unquote, overnight until completely dried. Drying times may vary. 
Yeah, those are totally not done. To make delectable doll-sized sugar cookies. Oh yeah, I am going to be making tons of cookies. The cornstarch helps them to keep their shape so you can have fun in your own doll slime kitchen. Just don't actually eat them or place them in a real oven, seriously. And when playtime is over, store the slime away until next time. And you're done. Happy crafting. where we make slimy food! Wait, that doesn't sound right. I am your host, Sophie Darby! Feel free to applaud. Oh, I get it. My awesomeness has left you speechless. <laughs> Understandable. Today we are going to make a seasonal classic. Pumpkin pie! We've made a lot of dollhouse pies, but never a slime one. To make our slime, Combine school glue and a borax and water solution. Our solution is made of one cup of water and one teaspoon of borax. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with chemicals. Stir, adding more of the solution as needed until it starts to stick to itself and pull away from the sides. Knead it until it is the desired consistency. I made a white slime and a clear. The clear just needs a little time to clear up. To make a pie pan, take a few layers of aluminum foil, bend it around a plastic bottle top, trim it, fold over and curl the edge. I like to use needle nose pliers. Remove the bottle top to make a doll sized pie pan. Now let's make the pies. I can see it now. Sophie's famous homemade pies. Grandma just might have a little competition this year. In a mixing bowl, add white slime and yellow food coloring. Stir. Oops, that was a fail. Mix it. Keep me in the light. I can't do this on my own. We've been waiting to find it. I can't do this on To make yellow slime. Add a little brown food coloring to clear slime to make our vanilla extract. In the mixing bowl, add a little model magic. We're gonna pretend like this is our shortening. The bright yellow slime is butter. We're gonna add that in there too. A little vanilla extract mixed together. We might have to knead this a little bit. If it starts to get a little too sticky, add a little more activator solution. To thicken it, we're gonna add a little cornstarch and mix it and knead it. When it has the consistency of dough, I place it on the counter and roll it out. Wow, who knew making a pie was this much work? Then carefully lift it from the table, place it over the pie pan, and try to work it into the corners without tearing it. Trim off the excess dough, shape the edge, use a knife to add a little design to make our pie crust. Set it aside and let's start on the filling. In the mixing bowl, add some white slime and orange food coloring. Mix well. I'm looking for a rich orange color here to be our pureed pumpkin. This is real pumpkin spice and we're gonna add that right to the slime. Stir. Wow, that completely liquefied the slime. So let's add some activator and stir and knead to turn it back into slime. Let's add a little touch of cornstarch. Mix well to make our pumpkin filling. Pour the filling into the pie crust.
make our doll slime pumpkin pie. You can place it in your dollhouse oven and allow it to dry overnight or have fun cutting right into it. Well, it looks like that's it for that pie. No! All that work! And you just smushed it up! My pie! <gasps> My precious pie! Sophie, relax. We still have one in the oven. Oh, well, in that case, carry on. Thank you for joining us and show us your doll slime pies on Instagram using hashtag MyFroggySuffFanPics. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Our doll grocery store has seen better days. Yeah, we haven't used it in a while. It's pretty much been on the shelf collecting dust. So let's recycle it into something new. First, we have to clear the space. Now we are going to carefully remove the shelves. Uh, yeah, it's gonna remove some of the paper, but that's okay. We can repaint later. I set the cardboard aside because maybe we can use it later. Now it's time to paint. I'm starting with a light base color on the walls. Splatter the walls with paint. Allow it to drip down so it looks like slime is oozing down the walls. While waiting for it to dry, I take the old shop counter, I remove the pieces from the side, cut a large piece of cardboard for the bottom, and another for the side, cover with scrapbook paper, glue them together, creating a box with a counter. I found this plastic dry erase board at Target for $3. I remove the marker from the side, then glue the plastic on top to make a large, smooth counter. I found these bead storage containers at the craft store. I am going to use these to hold our mini slime collection. So I remove the jars from the tray, then glue the tray onto the back wall. Refill it with the mini containers to make a display for our slime. And the counter we made earlier gives us a workstation. When we turn it around, there is a storage space to hold our glue activator, soap, and a doll size bowl and spoon. So we have all of our supplies to make our slime that we can actually make on this countertop. All inside of our doll room. So the mess stays right here. I use some of our pallet furniture and old crates from the grocery store to make a seating area for the dolls by adding a thin mattress, a blanket, and a few pillows so the dolls have a comfortable seating area when they're not making slime. And this pallet furniture can quickly fold down into a bed if the doll wishes to work late. Speaking of work, let's make some slime for our miniature slime collection. In our little mixing bowl, I pour in glue, a little dishwashing soap, 
stir, then I add a little activator and stir until the mixture starts to pull away from the sides. Remove it from the bowl and place it onto the counter, then begin kneading. Then place it into the jars, put on the top, then give it time to clear up. After a few days, we get clear slime that we can take out and play with on our workstation. And we can add some glitter and mix it in. to make miniature slime creations. And when we are finished playing with the slime, we place it back in the container, put on the lid, and store it on the wall. Unfold paper clips to make a hook to hang over the walls, to hold brightly colored accessories like purses, to create a colorful collage, and I can also hang a bicycle so the doll has transportation to get home from the workshop creating a colorful space for us and our dolls to enjoy. This space is a lot of fun. It provides storage for our doll accessories and for our slime collection, while still providing a room for our dolls. And I love this countertop because we can actually make miniature slime videos here. And best of all, we were able to recycle an unused set into something new. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Darby and welcome to my slime shop where I make slime based on really cool stuff. Check out my Nemo slime. Pretty cool, right? Hey Nemo, you okay in there? Uh, he's probably just taking a nap. Today we are making Marvel Avengers Infinity War Thanos Gauntlet Slime. For short, we'll just call it Infinity Slime. All right, you two can go now. Hulk, don't smash anything on your way out. Thanks for the cameo. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, let's make some slime. To make my slime, I am using clear glue and this, Elmer's Magical Liquid. Add to Elmer's glue to make slime, replaces baking soda and contact solution. Washable, safe, non-toxic. I found this at Michael's. It was like $8 and some change, a little pricey. I've never used it before, but today we're gonna give it a try. Four batches of kid-friendly slime, and there are some instructions here, but I'm just gonna wing it. We will also need some gold glitter and plastic gems for our infinity stones. To make the slime, I am using a bowl. Add some clear glue, and make sure you get it inside of the bowl. Now I'm going to add Elmer's Magical Liquid. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. Don't have exact measurements here. Let's just stir it. There is definitely some kind of reaction taking place. It's getting a little slimy. Ah, so cool. Look at that. I'm thinking we should add a little more Magical Liquid. Just a few drops. Yeah, that was a little too much. We're mixing and it's becoming difficult. Actually, it's pretty good. I placed it onto the counter and began kneading it. 
added a little more magical liquid to reduce some of the stickiness to make our slime. Usually, I would let this sit for a few days so it can clear up, but we don't have that kind of time. But since we're adding glitter, it probably won't be a big deal. Time to glitterize the slime. All right, let's just pour some right in the center. Come on, lots and lots of glitter. Then mix it up. It's mixing nicely. I think you can barely tell that this wasn't clear slime. I mean, it's clear slime. We just didn't give it time to clear up. Now that we have our gold slime, pick out some plastic gems. For the gauntlet, we need like an orangey color, a red, blue, purple. Then there was green on the thumb and like a bright yellow in the center. I don't exactly have all of those colors, so we're just gonna get as close as we can. Place the gems in the slime to make our slimy gauntlet. That is pretty cool looking! Thank you for joining me in my slime shop today. Let us know what kind of slimes you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye hey everyone sophie darby here welcome to my slime shop where we make mini slimes, often based on my favorite fandoms. I just saw the latest Marvel movie. Not gonna cry, not gonna cry. I did. How long have you been sitting there? An hour. Wow. Well, today we are making Nebula Slime. To make our slime, I'm using clear glue, Elmer's Magical Liquid for an activator, and glitter. I think these three colors will work. This one is called Frost, this is Water, and Muse. And we might even throw a little silver in there. So let's get started. Here is my mixing bowl. Add some clear glue. Now I am going to add the activator. We are using Elmer's Magical Liquid, and I'm gonna pour that right into the bowl. I think we're gonna need some more. I've got my spoon here, so let's mix it up. It's already starting to activate. This is pretty sticky. Add more activator as needed. When it starts to stick to itself rather than the bowl, remove it, place it on a protected surface, and knead. Now I'm going to divide my slime into three parts. One, two, three. Make that four. I add the frost glitter to one and mix it. And this is an ultra fine glitter. Once it's been mixed, set it aside. For my next slime, I am adding the water glitter. This is a slightly deeper blue. Let's get that all nice and mixed up. That is a really pretty color. Now I need a silver slime. So sparkly. Hey look, it's a silver infinity gauntlet. Just joking, we're making nebula. And for our teeny tiny slime, we are gonna make that purple. Now that we have all of our slime, let's put Nebula together. Get it? We're putting Nebula together because she's like a machine. <laughs> I'm so funny. Just gotta put the light blue on the sides, the silver at the top. That's supposed to be her ocular implant. Her lips, oops. I forgot to give her eyes. Gotta go make some dark blue slime right quick. There we go, two eyes. It's kind of like making a snowman, only out of slime. And here is our nebula inspired slime. It's like her portrait, made out of slime. There's a little bit of a resemblance there. Okay, so it looks a little crazy, but let's see what happens when we mix it up. Okay, now this is just weird. I don't think I'll be making any more faces anytime soon. Let's just hurry up and get rid of that face because it's creeping me out. Ooh, but this is really pretty. Yeah, much better when you mix it. 
so pretty. Thank you for joining us while we made Nebula Slime. Let us know what slimes you would like us to make in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time in the Slime Shop. Bye! You walk in the future, whoa, and this your down for it. Yeah, I could take you in. But if you're not a fighter, I can't promise anything. If everyone for watching this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashup you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we'll see you next time bye